What's up you guys, it's Charlie and I'm finally back with another video. I really hate long intros, but I do want to say before I get started, thank you guys so much for understanding why I took that little leave of absence. I mean, it was like a month long, so I'm sorry. But if you've seen the end of my last vlog, you know what I was going through. And I really just didn't want to film, I didn't want to be seen, I didn't want to sit here and talk to a camera. Um, I just knew my energy wasn't going to be where it needed to be, because my energy is already pretty low knowing that I'm in a hotel room full of military members. <laughs> But yeah, thanks, and I'm gonna go and reply to all those comments right now. But today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be tips for the defect. Now, you guys asked for videos about food at BMT, but there's so many, well, not so many. I know there's at least two good videos right now, like the first two that pop up when you Google it, and they're really good, and I don't think I'll be able to add anything to them because they are still really, really accurate and really, really well done. So I definitely suggest going to watch those videos. But if you still want me to make my own, I will. But like I said, those videos are really, really, really good. Okay, so. But this video is tips for the defect, how not to screw up. So let's get into it. <laughs> okay, tip number one should honestly go without saying. But some people didn't do this, so I really want to make sure I, I want to make sure you hear me, listen to me when I say, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Like, I'm not even going to get into it. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Tip number two. March until you get to your tray. Like, the whole time when you enter, um, I don't, I'm not sure how other defects are set up, but like in the 320th where we, um, entered, like there's, let's see. A left flank there's another left flank there's a right flank there's a right flank then like there's a lot and then that's just to get to where you're gonna walk and get your tray and then right before you get your tray you have to do a left flank and then you go to like sliding with your tray and then after that part you don't march anymore but yeah March until you get your tray don't lose any military bearing until you get your tray still keep your military bearing with your tray but you do not march after you get your tray so march and you <laughs> that was such a long tangent for no reason march in, until you get your tray is what i'm saying okay. tip number three also these tips are trying to go i'm trying to go in order like from when you first get there until like you leave but tip number three is speak to the employees um when you go to sign in there's usually one person that just makes sure you sign in the right place and stuff um speak to him even though they're civilians or her i guess um ours was always this one guy that i sp specifically remember around lunch and dinner and it was always this lady at it doesn't matter anyways speak to the civilians that are um helping you sign in good morning ma'am good morning sir that's literally all you have to say and he'll say good morning and then you go on by your business but speak don't be rude tip number four perfect your facing movements um i actually apparently i'm a good marcher um yeah I would say that I was always nervous to do my facing movements in the um, defect because I know the older weakers are usually looking at the younger weakers when they do their facing movements because I know that's what I did after I got to like the sixth week I was always like judging the, the younger kids <laughs> the younger kids but um perfect your facing movements I know one time I got called into my MTI's office for I don't even think it was something good or just because I was an element leader or something and then he's like um You've been doing good. You're a really good element leader. You do really good pacing movements when you're in the defect. And he said that. I specifically remember him saying that. It was me and my dorm chief. And she was like, yeah, you really do. And it really felt good. So they're watching. They're going to be either asking you memory work questions or at the um, snake pit. But they're watching you. So make sure those facing movements are on point. Which leads me to tip number five. Know your memory work. I don't know about anybody else's um, squadron, but my squadron if you're just in line like in the straight long line waiting to get to your tray and everything you're just like taking your step up and snapping back to attention taking a step snapping back to attention mti's will ask you memory work out of the blue and if you don't know it they will blow you up <laughs> and they will pull your 341 if you don't know the memory work so know your memory work tip number six i meant to say this back when i was um before that last one but either way Tip number six is look at the menu before you get to the food. When you're signing in, there's gonna be a menu, like a TV screen menu on the wall. Look at it, figure out what you want. Don't be all, like, don't get there and then try to look at everything and decide. Cause like, it's fast paced, you don't have time. Or they'll just slop something down on your tray. Or they'll just assume you don't want anything and slide your tray on down and then you don't get anything to eat. So, <laughs> look at the menu beforehand, decide what you want. Honestly, when it comes to breakfast and stuff, you already know what you want because it's like the same every three days. They'll go 
Anyway, tip number seven. This one's really, really important. Speak up. Speak up or you won't get anything. Speak up. When they say, what do you want? Say chicken or pork and say it loud because if they can't hear you, they'll slop something down your plate and I'm not even joking. It happens all the time. Even if you don't know what it is, because sometimes I looked at that stuff and I didn't know what it is. I looked at the menu. I looked at it. I was like, that don't look like chicken. Can I have some of that? If you, if you don't know which one you're pointing to, if she can't hear you say it, they will just give you whatever they want to and they can because you weren't speaking up. Speak up to the workers. Oh, what you're going to be saying to them, Not don't, don't just say pork and keep going. I always said, um, like, what's something? Like cheese tortellini. They always have cheese tortellini. I don't know why. I didn't even like it. Anyways, cheese tortellini, please, ma'am. Get it. Go. Speak up. Say what you got to say. Leave. <laughs> Speaking of the leave part, slide your feet, don't cross your feet. I don't know if I can possibly even show that to you right now other than like pay attention to what I'm saying. Like when you have your play, when you have your tray, you're getting it, you're sidestepping, 12 inch side steps. You feel me? Okay, cool. Don't cross over your feet like doing the karaoke if you don't know what that is. Sorry, that was stupid. I played sports in high school, but um, just sidestep. Cool. Okay. I think I'm on tip number nine. I could be on tip number like 10. I think it's nine. We're going to go with nine. Okay. Tip number nine. Um, oh, be calm, but speak up. I already said that. No, be calm, but be fast. You know, like know what you want, say what you want, go. I feel like I already said this tip, but be calm. Like don't be all frazzled. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I want. Just be calm, say what you want, go, calm down. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Tip number 10, don't forget your two carbonated beverages. Um, you have to get two, no, 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 no. <laughs> Tip number 10, don't forget your two non-carbonated beverages, which means um, milk, water, and juice, I believe. But not like Gatorade juice, like grape juice. I don't know, I would say you guys get two waters or water and a milk because I don't know how the juices are. I don't know, they, they don't have, I don't know. Don't listen to me. Anyways, um, milk and water. Probably juice too, but we're gonna not say that just in case I don't wanna get y'all messed up. But don't forget to get two of those if you're gonna get something else, cause you can get Gatorade, you can get coffee. Those have um, caffeine in it and they're carbonated, but make sure you don't forget your two non-carbonated. I always got two waters um, and then I'd get a Gatorade or like half a cup of Gatorade, but I have a tip for that too, one second. Tip number 11, I think. Tip number 11, I think. Speaking of the getter and everything, what I did and the next tip is to get your two non-carbonated drinks. So like get your two waters and then get a Gatorade, but drink your Gatorade last because you're gonna have to drink those waters. You're gonna have to drink those. So I'd say drink your Gatorade last or like do a little Gatorade sandwich, water, or Gatorade water. I don't know how you feel like doing it. Do that, drink it last. And I don't know if I wrote this down as a tip, but what I did is I didn't get the full thing of Gatorade. I just like got like, the waters are like this tall, they're already made for you. And I got like this much Gatorade, like half a cup of Gatorade. Because that's a lot of liquids and you only have like 10 minutes to eat at the most anyway. Tip number 12 is to pay attention to your chow runner. Now your chow runner is gonna be the person standing like this telling you where to go. Your chow runner is gonna say front or back to tell you to sit at the front table or the back table. And when they say front, say front ma'am, thank you ma'am, and you go in front of them. If they say back, say back ma'am, thank you ma'am, and go behind them now pay attention don't go wrong or you're gonna like mess up the seating arrangements and i don't know if you're in the 320th but master sergeant treo sanchez is gonna blow you up um if you don't know who that is but if you end up getting the 320th you will know who that is trust i'm like positive i got these numbers mixed up um the next tip don't know what number it is but the next tip is oh when you get to your chair when you get to your chair the chair tells you where to sit make sure you put your tray down and stand at attention for three seconds what I did was say it in my head every single time because we got them petty MTIs that like to count like that's only 2.7 seconds to say it one two three then you sit down don't say it out loud say it in your head you're at attention don't be talking and two more tips the tip that goes along with that is what I always did was when I as soon as I got done saying at attention I would start my timer I wish I had my clock so I could actually show you guys but like what I did was one, two, three, pulled out my chair, and while I was sitting down, I would set it, like, go, like, 
because I'm trying to get out of here in seven minutes. Seven minutes is honestly pushing it for me. I usually got out in like four. And the only tips that I have while you're sitting down is one, what I like to do is chug one of my waters first and then drink the other one like while I was eating so I didn't have to, you know, chug both of them at the end. Like when you're getting ready to go and you realize you still have a whole cup of water left. Also, I always had like one wingman beside me that I like knew because I was, um, I'm always second element leader. I was second element leader, so I was always sitting in the same spot pretty much. But like we made eye contact. Like as soon as I finished this much water and put my cup down, we gonna go. Like we had it figured out. Like she pick up her cup and I'm like, cool, we better go. Then we left. I don't know. <laughs> You'll get cool with people. You'll get mind games like that. Also, when you want ketchup and mustard, just grab it. Don't say, hey girl, pass me the ketchup. <laughs> don't talk in that defect. <laughs> Do not talk in the defect. And that is my last tip. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I really, really appreciate it. Sorry for all my neighbors because I know you can hear me talking right now. Sorry that it's been like since 1992 that y'all went through basic training, but I gotta help my people out. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video, bye.